it seems a miracle that a seed can burst into life. Plant lots of different ones and it's an excitement with unlimited possibilities. So much abundance and so much to learn. Before I could start though, I needed some form of potting compost. There's all sorts of perfect formulas out there, but I thought I'd just check what I had to hand. Some old leaves I'd piled up years ago had rotted down well, so I'd used those along with a richer compost that I had. And I knew there was sand hidden under here, which would help with drainage too. I used two parts compost, one part sand and one leaf mould. Seeding compost doesn't want to be too nutrient rich, hence the additions here. And my approach was probably poor gardening etiquette, but I didn't sterilise this. I knew I'd have plenty of weeds sprouting out, given where the leaves had been stored, but I'd rather have that than a soil void of its microscopic life. Gardening seems to be the perfect activity for making the most of stuff that you might normally throw away. I played about with wicking up into egg cartons, just to see how well they'd last. Along with filling various other pots that had been used before. and some little biodegradable cups from the garden centre. The seeds ranged to almost a hundred varieties. This was definitely throwing myself in at the deep end. But I'd spent months planning and visioning the transformation of this site and I wasn't going to hold back once it got warm enough to start sowing. I'll have to share more specifics as things begin to grow. But in summary, this isn't conventional gardening. There'll be plenty in here to make things pretty. In fact, my goal is to ensure it's absolutely beautiful. But there's a fair few plants that people would want to call weeds. And much of the typical gardening choices are missing. Everything is selected to be useful, though the uses are very broad, and I have generally avoided plants that are poisonous. So many varieties in such a small space meant that very few of each species got sown. Once everything was in, I took a few extra steps just to give them the best chance of sprouting. I decided to stand everything in water to prevent drying out, leaving a bit of a dry spell for them in between each of the waterings. The whole ambition for the site is to work with nature, rather than to keep trying to control it. But what I'm doing at this stage, sowing just a small amount of each seed, is very unnatural. Nature never aims for 100% success, not even close. So when one of the first seeds to sprout here was immediately devoured, I decided to put up some insect mesh as an extra protection.
None of this was overly scientific. With such a variety, the seeds all had different needs when it came to germination, but I just chucked them all in together. Those that sprouted quickly have already been potted on, and I'm checking over the others to see if lengthy germination is normal for them, or if they might need a retry. I'm not expecting everything to show up, of course, but so far I am pleased with how things are going, and I'm really excited to start learning more from these plants and seeing the site start to transform from its current overgrown chaos to something beautiful. I'll bring you some updates as things really start to get growing. <laughs>